Hey John, guess what I'm going as on Halloween? Harambe! Yo guys, Jonathan here. Happy Halloween to those who are celebrating. Today I am back with another Snapchat Q&A where this time we are talking 2016 MacBook Pro. Hey, what's up Jonathan? I just wondered if you're getting the new MacBook Pro and uh, in that case, what size? So the short answer is yes. I will personally be buying a MacBook Pro and more specifically, I'll be going the 15 inch route, decked out, balls to the wall, max CPU, max graphics, and even though it was a little bit hard to swallow, two terabytes of storage. Now to put some context behind this, this will double both as my mobile editing machine and my desktop editing machine. Before anyone out there screams, yo, why don't you build a PC? It is like 10 times more powerful. The simple answer is Final Cut Pro 10. That is what I use the most and it's also what works best for me. I kid you not, I will edit 6K raw red footage on my MacBook Pro without a hiccup. So are there more powerful PC options out there for less money? 100%, and if that works for you, by all means, go for it. But for me, it is hard to beat the combination of when hardware works with software, in this case, Final Cut Pro 10, because the performance is second to none. Yeah, what's up, TLD? I'm out here. Tennis Pro, you know. What's your uh, favorite feature besides the touch bar? That is actually a really tough question, my friend. And instinctively, I want to say either the louder speakers or the larger, faster storage options. But if I think about it, it has got to be the new improved displays. Coming from someone who's used a MacBook Pro on a daily basis for the past couple of years, having that extra brightness and those colors is awesome. Really, if you compare it to any of other Apple's current devices, whether it's the iPhone, the iPad, or especially 5K iMacs, the MacBook Pro screen was always noticeably less bright. So for me, this is a huge win. Besides the matte black and any other Apple color, what color would you like to see on an upcoming MacBook? That is also another awesome question, dude. For me, this is actually really easy. Hands down, it would be blue. I always wish the iPod touch like colors would come to the iPhone, so in this case, that would also look awesome on a MacBook Pro. It is also probably why I like the really blue pixel so much, so if it came over to the MacBook lineup, I think I would take that over space gray. I think the touch bar on the MacBook Pro is a necessity or just something really cool to get if you have some extra cash. That is almost a two-part answer. I think at this point, with the touch bar being so early into the game, it is not a necessity. For anyone considering a 13-inch MacBook Pro, if you're trying to save some cash, by no means would I tell you to go spend the extra money for the touch bar model. On the other hand, if money is not an issue, you are more than likely not gonna need my opinion. And lastly, if you bump up to the 15-inch MacBook Pro, that is the only option. So if you're buying that one, obviously it comes with the MacBook Pro and you're not having to choose whether or not it's a necessity or not. Hey Jonathan, it's Daniel, and I was wondering if you would do a video comparing the HP Spectre X360 15-inch to the new MacBook. I'm wondering which I should get. That sounds like a serious showdown, Mr. Elvis Presley, and I guess I will ask you guys, is that something you want to see in the channel? If so, maybe drop a like, and if we had 30,000 likes, I will make that happen. What would you have wanted in the MacBook Pro that didn't actually turn out to be in the MacBook Pro? I hope you like my, you know, costume. For me, that would have been some sort of MagSafe charging option or an SD card. So I think I can get over MagSafe, but for me, I still use an SD card quite a bit and I'm going to wish it was there. Hey Jonathan, what is the best tech for travelers or adventurers? Thanks bro. For me, if you travel a lot, this loop power adapter has been immensely useful. On the outside, it kind of looks like your standard typical USB power adapter where you plug into the wall. But the trick up its sleeve is there are multiple power options no matter where you are. Europe, USA, the UK, Australia, China, it has them all. So with this, not having to deal with any connections or adapters is super useful and handy. Who has bigger guns, you or Austin? And what's your favorite phone in 2016? Tough man. <laughs> hey, are you from Chicago? Because you're always wearing a Chicago Bulls hat. So to clear that question up, I was actually born in Southern California, lived here my entire life, but as far as sports teams go, I am all over the place. Obviously I like the Bulls, as far as football goes, I'm a Lions fan, baseball are the Angels, and hockey are the Ducks. Now for the backstory and how I became a Bulls fan, my dad loved basketball, so I remember being like two or three years old, watching him shoot baskets and me of course trying to mimic him. Naturally from there I developed a love for basketball and because of that, my mom and dad bought me a Bulls jersey. I was instantly hooked and I remember literally watching every single Bulls game I could on TV. Obviously the Jordan era was incredible and super fun to watch, but I've always been a really loyal kind of guy. So pre Derrick Rose, post Derrick Rose now, going back to Jamal Crawford, Tyson Chandler, Elton Brand, I've always liked watching the Bulls. 
What's your opinion on the Microsoft Surface Studio and how do you think it competes against the Apple iMac? I was actually incredibly stoked when I saw Microsoft drop the Surface Studio. One, it looks amazing, and two, hats off to them for being innovative and taking a chance. Honestly, I would rather not get into a flame war with iMac versus Surface Studio. There are two incredible machines that are gonna work really well for two different people. Truth be told, during the week of the Surface Studio and the MacBook Pros, I was disappointed in the tech world. Here we had in back-to-back -back days, two really awesome announcements. And instead of appreciating that and getting excited, people were bitching about the Surface Studio, people were bitching about the MacBook Pro. So for once, I would actually like to just sit back and appreciate technology for a minute. Hey John, regarding the touch bar on the new MacBooks, why do you think Apple decided to make something like a touch bar instead of just making the entire screen a touch screen? As far as that goes, I'm not sure if it's personal preference, but I've never really liked having a touch screen computer. For me, the touch bar actually makes sense. With my hands on the keyboard, it's in that nice natural range of motion. You're not obstructing your view on the screen. And honestly, I've just never really liked having fingerprints on my computer screen. Again, that is my personal preference and opinion, so I could be totally wrong. And if you happen to like a touch screen, let me know why. So that wraps up today's Snapchat Q&A. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did and you are feeling like being awesome, make sure to go Duff Man on that like button. If you haven't yet, definitely make sure you subscribe. There's plenty more 2016 MacBook Pro coverage coming up. There's also a giveaway down there. And lastly, before I hop out of here, I wanna give a huge shout out to Braintree Payments for making today's video possible. Braintree is code for easy mobile payments. So whether it's next week, next year, Apple Pay, Bitcoin, or the next generation kind of payment, Braintree's platform is ready for whatever the future holds. Accept everything from pounds to PayPal from any device. No late nights, no pulling your hair out recoding because Braintree Payments is helping you stay ahead of the curve. And to learn more, head over to braintreepayments.com slash techfist. I don't have a question or a costume. I just wanted to be in a video. So, hi. John, it's Batman. What do you think of the MacBook? Wait, Wait, I'm 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 what? Jelly beans!